Thank you. I want to piggyback on some questions my colleague asked before about the Dwyer funding for peer-to-peer -peer veterans mental health care. Are you familiar with the program? Yes. Are you aware that down the hall, the Senate Veterans Affairs Committee Chairman, John Brooks, included it in the Senate One House and also held a press conference supporting this important funding for veterans? I wasn't aware of a press conference, but I, uh, I'll take your word for it. And it is an item that the Senate has, uh, in years past, always advanced. Right, but under, under different control, under Republican control, they supported it. And now it appears that under Democrat control, they are supporting it. That's good. Good news. It is good news. It is good news. The bad news is we're not supporting it. So we, I know that um, okay. a budget is basically a list of priorities. And I've gone through this budget resolution. Um, and, I, and I see some things in there, $2.5 million for I Love New York. Is $2.5 million for I Love New York a greater priority than veterans mental health care? That's, that's, you know, that's the governor's budget that he presented to us. Uh, we didn't cut that out. Uh, you know, I would say again, the uh, veterans program was ad advanced uh, and passed by the Senate. We have a, a, a very uh, good uh, chair of Veterans Affairs in, in our committee who spoke to me about a, a number of uh, veterans programs. And I would be confident as we move forward that uh, that's something that we will work uh, with the Senate and the Governor to, to see that we, uh, it, it becomes part of our budget. I'm not sure that I understood your answer. You said, you said the Governor didn't include it in his budget proposal, uh -huh. but I'm asking, we included $2.5 million for I Love New York, which is nice, I love New York. I love veterans more. This budget is saying we love the I Love New York program to the tune of $2.5 million. And we love our veterans who are struggling with PTSD, TBI, and other things. Um, it's not a priority. I'm asking why. People well, are calling my office and asking me to find out why. You know, as we discussed, the Senate has uh, traditionally added this money. You mentioned that the Senate, in fact, put it in their resolution. The I Love New York is the was the governor's proposal. Uh, we went through our, the governor's bill to, in the areas where he cut programs that the assembly has traditionally advanced. We've been able to restore many of those programs in this, in this budget. Uh, this doesn't represent the, the final product. And once we sit down with the Senate and the governor, we'll have a we'll end up with a, a budget that has addresses many of the priorities and I'm I'm confident as I mentioned that we'll be able to address the uh, issues uh, facing veterans in our state I hope you're right the legislature will be in a stronger bargaining position with regards to the veterans funding if both of the one house budgets included this funding let me move on though just like I like uh, the I Love New York program, I, I like the NFL. We're giving $6.9 million uh, to the Buffalo Bills. They're owned by a billionaire. The players are millionaires. The front office people are millionaires. Uh, I like to watch football games on TV, but we're giving them $6.9 million, and we've taken out uh, half that, about $3.7 million. That is literally life-saving, literally life-saving peer-to-peer veterans counselors. So is the NFL and the Buffalo Bills and their billionaire owners and their millionaires millionaire players more important to us as a state than our veterans who are struggling with the effects of their service to our country? Yeah, you know, I, I, I just, uh, you know, want to clarify to the extent uh, people are listening, when you say we took it out, the governor took out the veterans funding. We in the assembly have added $850,000 for veterans, other veterans programs that uh, we've, the assembly had traditionally uh, advanced that the governor cut, that we are restoring in our one house. Uh, that is, uh, we don't ask the Senate to address those, the assembly ads. We look 
so, and they've addressed uh, the prior Senate ads, and as I said, uh, the cut, or the funding for the Buffalo Bill is, uh, that's the governor's money, maybe he hopes they'll do better next time but around. I, I like to blame the governor for things too, but the governor put forth his proposal in January, and your conference put forth this, which is, right. you know, several dozen pages of changes. So we didn't make that one change that would, would guarantee that both houses stand up for this specific counseling. I agree, veterans funding is important. I'm glad if, if that's the case, there's more veterans funding overall. But this specific program uh, is sorely needed. And in a $175 billion budget, $3.7 million is a relatively small amount. Let me ask you this. I was pleased in this, in this uh, budget resolution that your conference put forward. Many of the governor's pet economic development programs were taken out or amended or reduced, and I, and I applaud that. Uh, I didn't see anything in here about the $420 million film subsidy, which is a refundable tax credit uh, that's been around for about a decade. It's scheduled to expire in a couple years. Uh, is, that, is that still going to be funded this year? Did you take that out along with the other economic development changes that you made? The, the governor did not present that in his budget. and uh, We did not add it. But no changes, because in past budgets we gave for, we, we guaranteed, essentially, unless in a budget we change it, $420 million in this refundable tax this, credit. There's for, still two years to go before right. it expires. Right, but we could have changed that. Yes. We, we still could, the, in fact. Right, the same way we could change anything, yes. Right. We, we, we could and, and we still can as we move forward. I'm glad you said that because we're looking for $3.7 million for veterans struggling with PTSD and other, other disorders related to their service. and. We can take less than 1%. We can take 0.8 of 1% uh, of that 420 that goes to uh, Hollywood every year and give it to our veterans. Why are we not doing that? Uh, I, I, I've said it before, and I'll uh, you know, continue to say that there is a, a history that when we, uh, when each house looks at the budget, we look to first restore the items that we advanced that were part of last year's final budget. This was an item that the Senate has traditionally advanced. It's one that the Assembly has supported in final budgets, and it's, I'm confident that it will be. Uh, you could keep asking the question in different ways. I'm not going to be giving you a different answer. I appreciate it. Well, now that I've raised the issue, I hope that we can, uh, when, we, when, we, when we finalize it, include that $3.7 million, and if you could take it away from Harvey Weinstein is Hollywood Palace. That, that would be even uh, better. I appreciate your time, Madam Chair. On the resolution? On the resolution, sir. You know, we've, we've talked quite a bit about the uh, Dwyer funding, and I want to give a little bit of the background. Uh, Specialist Joseph P. Dwyer was a New Yorker from Long Island. He was uh, in his mid-20s when September 11th happened. He raised his right hand. He joined the United States Army. He was a combat medic. You've probably seen his picture because back about 15 years ago, his picture graced the cover of many newspapers. Uh, while he was serving as a combat medic in Iraq, this great New Yorker ran into the middle of a firefight to save an Iraqi child. There's this iconic picture of him cradling this three or four year old Iraqi child and bringing that child to safety, literally saving that child's life and putting his own life at risk. And he gained some, uh, uh, some notoriety from that picture. Sadly, the unseen wounds of war that Specialist Dwyer suffered from, took his life just two years later. And I don't think it's an exaggeration to say that our society failed him. He served us and we failed him. The VA failed him, the Army failed him. Our society failed him. He's no longer here. But this great program bears his name. And we should not fail another veteran in New York State. We should not st uh, fail another veteran who's struggling with PTSD, possibly substance abuse related to that PTSD. We should not do it. We, sh we are, as this resolution stands right now before it's changed, if indeed it is changed, we are failing those veterans who need this funding. And that is a shame. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.